Today uh, we're going to be taking this uh, new burner build kind of to the next level. So in my last video about this burner, um, I made kind of a prototype just to see if I can get it to work. I was able to get it to work and um, <clears throat> now I want to start integrating this into the furnace so that I can use it for melting metal. Um, and I'm still making the foundry. I started building that uh, yesterday and I've changed my plans again but I'll make a video on that. Um, <clears throat> so somebody made a really really good suggestion, a couple of them, uh, but one of them was uh, on the last video. So here from the last video I just welded that closed and that's just you know what was left over just to kind of see if it would work. But what I think I'm going to do now, uh, based on that comment, is I'm going to... So he suggested I weld this closed, then drill and tap it, and then I can make tip heads on the lathe, and I can experiment with different orifices, and that's, that is a great idea, and I'm going to do that. The one thing I, I don't think it's... I'm going to do a little bit different is I don't think I'm just going to weld this shut and tap it because that's kind of a thin, irregular um, metal surface that, that whatever I weld, um, if I just weld this shut. So I think what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take this top cap off and, uh, well actually, I can, hold on. Okay, let's take this back piece off. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut this somewhere back here and then make something in the lathe that will butt onto this that has internal threads. And uh, so cut this off, make something in the lathe that has internal threads, put that on and then weld that on. So then I'll have a nice, you know, good piece of thread, nice turned material on the tip of this. And then from there, I will make the tips. Um, so that's what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna do that and uh, hopefully that'll work out. Okay, so I want to approximately uh, make this length the same. So, what I'm going to do here, let me take a measurement, and this is, this is rough because there'll be, I'll be able to adjust this to get the exact length I want. So just rough measurement there, that's pretty much four and seven eighths on the nose. Um, Actually, it's probably about three thousandths less than four and seven eighths, which is pretty amazing considering I just, it's a nice, you know, nominal number considering I just uh, threw this together. Uh, so four and seven eighths is going to be the length, the length we're looking at here. So uh, we're going to cut this back. Let me, let me just make, think about this a little bit and I'll bring you, maybe we'll go to the whiteboard. Come on, focus. Focus, there we go. Alright. Sorry, let me just get the bounds of my camera. Alright, I gotta be between there. <clears throat> Alright, so we have, here's that pipe that I just showed you guys. And here's, the tip is right here. Um, so, what I think I want is I want the tip that I put in, let's see here, to kind of look something like this. Oops. So this is, well, I want this to be half an inch, this threaded part to be half an inch. So the whole thing is an inch, so that means, let's draw a line there in the line there. That means I'm going to cut off an inch of that pipe um, and so this is this is the tip, no, no, okay, this is the tip that I want. 
right? Which means that the thing that the tip screws into needs to go, needs to end at this point. So I want it to go in a half an inch. Um, so then my little piece that I'm going to put here, let's draw that separately. Okay, it's going to, it's going to be like an internal thread for half an inch. Um, and then it'll probably go another half an inch and butt up to this. So let me see here. Okay, so it's going to have a half an inch of thread and then we're going to go past that for maybe like an eighth of an inch. An eighth of an inch. Then it's going to step down and go into the pipe hole. <clears throat> um, or maybe let's make this wider so when I weld it, it's decently far away. So we'll make this a quarter inch. And then this will, so that's just the space between the end of the threads and when it starts to, to be turned down to the smaller diameter. So this, this part right here that I'm shading, that's the pipe. So actually, it'll look something like this, right? So uh, it's going to butt into the pipe and then we're going to weld around around so that means this piece will be a permanent fixture in the pipe <clears throat> and it will end here and then I will make tips that will screw into that that will end on this line keeping the 1 and 7 8 length so that's what we're going to do um, I'll make a quick little drawing so I can follow on the lathe as I'm turning okay so we got a piece of mystery steel and uh, we're just going to make our adapter first out of this. I already took a swig at it, as you can see. I'm going to touch off there. Walk our carriage. Feed in. surface finish uh, this stuff is some this is some tough stuff for whatever it is okay we're we got a while to go um, yeah man this is really tough I don't know if my bit is let's look at my bit yeah that bit is toast let me uh, replace the bit and uh, we'll go from there all right, let's try that out. Seems to be cutting much better. Yeah, that's better. Uh, where's my oil can? down yet but I'm gonna put a center um, in this to kind of support it from this side uh, and that's really because for two reasons one the first reason is I want to take heavier cuts and it, with having a support on this side I'm gonna be able to take heavier cuts uh, two because I'm going to be plunge cutting soon with the parting tool to kind of get this the turn down part down to size and uh, I want to be able to support it on this side when I do those plunge cuts. So we're going to put a center drill in 
sendero. Put some thick whey oil on that. And we'll lock that in. Parting tool in there. Um, I just butted it up against this face here, and then I have my uh, down here my indicator zeroed out. So we're going to go over half an inch, and actually plus the width of the parting tool, which I believe is an eighth of an inch, ninety-two and a half thousandths. So we'll go over ninety-two and a half. I two and a half right there. Then we'll re-zero this out. And then we'll go over half an inch. One, two, three, four, five hundred thousandths. Right there. Now we're gonna lock the carriage. Okay, gonna just touch off there. Okay, we got her turned down. I'm having focusing problems with my camera when I go in close. But anyway, we got her turned down. I'm just gonna file that corner. And now we're going to uh, Now we're going to drill the hole through it, but I guess it would be good to, do I have a chamfering tool in? Damn it, I don't. Of course I don't. Okay, I just want to, since we're going to weld this on, I just want to put a chamfer on this. Just so, just a little one, so I can have something to fill. I'm going to use the carbide cutter. Put a little chamfer on that. There we go. So now we're going to drill that hole through the middle. We're going to start with a smaller bit. thin that wall is. So that's not too bad. I could have done the math and whatever and figured that out, but that's not too bad at all. I think that will hold up. So I'm going to deburr that, flip it over, and we're going to drill and tap that hole for uh, 3 8 by 16. Okay, we got this all mounted up. Um, the part kind of rotated in the chuck a little bit, so there's some jaw marks. Can you see that? But that's okay. This isn't a precision or anything part, but you can see we got the threads in there, and now we can go weld it on. Okay, so here's the other side. I've already cut it off, and I grinded kind of a, 
taper on that. So here's the moment of truth. How well does this fit? Oh man, that's, that's a nice fit. That's perfect. We have a nice spot. A nice uh, V to weld it together. And then we'll be able to screw the tip onto that. So let me get it set up for welding. And uh, we'll get the torch, because again, I like the torch. All right, there's the weld. Um, and I'm just going to, come on, focus. Turned out pretty good. I'm just going to clean this up on the wire wheel slash grinder and uh, that should be it for at least this part. Alright, just hit it with the grinder and wire wheel and this is how it turned out. A couple of indents there from a little bit of an uneven weld. A uh, little high spot right there. Come on. But uh, otherwise, I mean it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that doesn't have to be perfect. Here's the front. So that should be it for this side. Now the next, and this is great because I can just tap it by 3 8 by 16 which is a really nice, you know, tap size. Um, it's big so I can have big orifices if I want. Um, I'm just going to run a tap through this again just because there's scale from the, uh, the fact that this got red hot and they might have warped a little bit. So I'm going to run a tap through this again. And, um, and then we'll make a tip and we'll, we'll go from there.